Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we would like to demonstrate to you how different managers can use Activity Timeline. We recommend this video to any person that will be managing the workload of users in Jira or Activity Timeline. We also have a separate video for ordinary employees, which can be found here. There are four different modules in Activity Timeline – Plan, Work, Track and Report. Each of them is important for a manager, but let's start with the default one which is the plan resource planning. Here on the right you can see your Jira users and their schedules, so that you see who is doing what and when it's going to be done. And on the left side you can see the backlog of tasks coming from your Jira. Tasks can appear in the calendar in two different ways, but the easiest way is to simply grab the task from the left panel and drop it on the timeline. In this way the task will be scheduled both here and in Jira. As you can see, the task was also updated in Jira. The same will work the other way around, if we update these dates, assignee or Jira time tracking field. As you can see, the task is now updated to the dates we selected in Jira. Also, it worth mentioning that apart from standard Jira time tracking, Activity Timeline can work with Story Points Estimate if the correct conversion is configured, as the baseline in Activity Timeline is always in hours. Additionally, there is our internal estimate, we call it daily estimate, that allows to show it in the hours per day format. If you would like to learn more about this, we recommend watching our detailed video on the planning module here. Apart from standard Jira tasks, Activity Timeline also has a set of internal events which allow you to better plan the capacity of your resources. They include booking, placeholder, as well as the different non-working activities. By non-working we mean days off, sick leaves, vacations and holidays. Each of the events has its own feature. For example, a day off event excludes a day from the availability of the resource, while overtime event works in the opposite way and increases the capacity of the employee by a certain amount. In this way, you're always sure when and for how much the resources are available. We have discussed each and every event type in one of our previous videos, so we highly recommend checking in to learn more about our internal tasks. In this video, we would like to focus on the booking event type. The idea behind this event is quickly allocate a person to a project or activity for a certain amount of time per day, or as a percentage of the capacity. We believe this is especially useful for long-term planning, when you may not have all the Jira tasks created, but you'd like to forecast the need for resources a few months ahead. Now, when we have figured out how the schedule and workload works for individuals, it would also be useful to understand what is your team's capacity. For this, you can use our team panel that aggregates data from all users inside the team. To enable a team timeline, simply switch to team with users on the top of the screen. This panel allows you to see workload and availability in hours, days or percentages, so you can forecast if your team can do some new projects. It's not uncommon for users and teams to work on different projects at the same time so users could have many tasks assigned to them. But at the same time, it's important to be able to see some specific activities. You can achieve this easily with our filters available on the top and left panels. However, it would be very uncomfortable to configure different filters all the time. That's why we have created dashboards that allow you to save all the configurations on the left and top panels and quickly switch between them. After you create a dashboard, you'll have the option to share it with your colleagues. For this, go to Dashboard, click Manage, Configure, and you can share it with individuals or even the whole teams. That was a brief overview of our Plan module, now we are ready to move next to Work module. Our Work view is a dedicated module for individuals, where they can see what tasks are they assigned to, how much time they need to report as well as what's on their calendar for today. Since this module was mostly designed for individual workers, we go into details of this module in our employee guide which is available here. However, being a manager means that you can also see workspaces of other people who work in your teams. Simply use a drop-down to select a correct person. Moving to our next model, Track Team Timesheets. This is where you can get timesheet reports for your teams. There are three different report times available – Progress, Timeline and Detailed Reports. All reports could be generated for both teams and individuals. Progress report is a great for high-level tracking where you can easily see how many hours the user had to report 
and what's the actual number of hours they locked. Here you can also see the number of out of the office days during the period, as well as for all or specific projects. Reports can be created not only for projects, but also you can use Jira saved filters to report on any set of Jira issues. Timeline report shows how users log their hours over time for each day, week or month. In this timesheet you can also decide how to group data. For example, you can see who contributed to each project or how much time was spent for each issue type to know the amount of spent time for bug fixing and for new development. Lastly, our detailed report. This is a configurable table which allows you to see all the available info about the reported time. You can also group and filter this report, but in addition to this, you can also expand it with additional information. You can add Jira custom fields to this timesheet. When you add a new field, the timesheet table will be adjusted to include this new data. And don't forget, all our reports are available in the Excel version. And the last module we will cover in this video is called Report Analytics. Here you can get an insights into your resource utilization as well as forecast future available capacity of your resources. The first report we'd like to show you is called Resource Utilization Report. This report provides you a great insight into workload and available capacity of your teams. It can be generated as a summary report or detailed by project or epic to understand how much time is planned for each project. A summary report shows users' workload across all their projects. Here you can see what is the total available capacity of the user and team in the period, how much of that capacity is currently being used and what is the utilization rate. The data shown here is taken from the time estimates of tasks assigned to users on their timelines. The default option is to generate it in percentages but also available in hours, days or even weeks. As mentioned earlier, you can drill this report down by a project or epic if you'd like to know exactly how much capacity of every user is planned for each activity. If users have assignments from different projects, you'll see exactly how much time of his or her capacity each project takes. Moving forward to our next report, Project Resource Report. It is quite similar to the previous one, but instead of looking at teams, it provides a view from the project perspective. In this report you can see the project and all the people who are assigned there, so you understand what resources are being spent there. And the last report we'd like to address in this video is our planned versus actual report. This report allows you to understand if your team estimates their tasks correctly and if you're on track with your project. It is available on the issue, project or epic levels. You can also create a report either from the entire project or a set of issues using Jira saved filters. The goal of this report is to provide a comparison between the planned time and the actual which consists of time spent and time remaining. In the ideal world, original estimate equals the time spent plus remaining estimate, and in this case the task is on track. But if original estimate is greater than the time spent and time remaining, it would make this task overestimated initially. And vice versa, if the planned time is smaller than the actual, the task was underestimated. You can also see the summary for that project as well as its deviation from the initial estimate. Planned versus Actual by Epic In case you use Jira's Epic functionality, you can also generate Planned versus Actual report to track the progress of the Epic, which takes into account all of the stories, tasks and subtasks in any particular Epic. Apart from these reports, we have a variety of other in the All Reports section, which could be useful for some specific cases. And the last thing we want to cover in this video is Team Management. You, as a manager, have permissions to create and manage teams inside Activity Timeline. There are three types of teams in Activity Timeline. Classic, also known as Project Teams, Functional Team, and you can also import teams from Jira groups. To create a Classic Team, open Teams menu, create a new team, and then choose Classic Team. Here you can choose a name for a team, define team lead, and associate a project with the team. Add users by manually dragging them into a team. As for the functional teams, this is an automatic team created by the system based on skills and position assigned to users. Just note that this information has to be created and assigned to users beforehand by Activity Timeline's administrator. Once you have that, you can create a new functional team simply by choosing skills or position and the app will automatically add people that possess this competence. When you created these teams, they will be available in the drop-down menu on the planning view as well as in different reports. 
This is it from us for today. Thank you for sticking until the end of the video, we truly hope it was useful for you. There are many more videos in our channel, so feel free to check it once you have a free time. And if you still have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at relax.com. See you in the next videos.